Hi guys! Today on Divas and Cook, we are making my new favorite punch. I know I say that all the time, but for real, this punch is so good. We are taking frozen Granny Smith apples, and we're going to create a punch that tastes exactly like a caramel candy apple. It is all to the good, I promise. All right, you're going to love this one. Let's go! Alright, so we're going to start by cutting up our Granny Smith apple. We're going to cut these into little cubes. This is going to be our ice cubes. It's going to keep our punch from getting watered down. And it's also kind of fun to chew on. It goes great with our little caramel kebabs we're going to make. Alright, so I'm going to slice my lemon in half and then just go ahead and drizzle it onto those apples. This is going to keep the apples from turning brown and stuff and also make them a little bit more tart because it tastes so good with this sweet punch, alright? Okay, now I'm going to place my apples onto a... Ooh, it's a windy day! Windy! Place my apples onto my baking tray and we're going to pop these into the freezer. I'm going to freeze these until they are completely solid, okay? Completely solid. And then when it's time to serve up your punch, go ahead and pour your, um, your apple juice into your pitcher. Make sure that you use unsweetened apple juice, okay? Unsweetened apple juice only. We're going to add in our own sugar. And next, I'm going to add in some unsweetened sparkling cider as well, okay? Go ahead and pour that right on in. This is such an easy punch, you guys. Like, it is really, really easy. And it tastes so good. Okay, that's enough. This is a long clip, geez. Okay, so now we're going to add in our sour apple pucker. Yum, our schnapps. This is not a kid-friendly punch, but this schnapps, you guys, do not leave it out because it kind of gives the apple like that candied flavor. It's like, oh my gosh, what's in this punch? It's kind of like candy almost. Okay, then we're going to add in our brown sugar, and this is going to give our punch that caramel-like flavor to it. And that is it. That is all the ingredients that goes into this punch, you guys. Isn't that crazy? So quick and easy and simple. Perfect for fall time. I'm telling you, if you're entertaining, you got a party coming up, make this punch. Your guests will love it. Okay, last I'm going to make my little kebabs here. I'm just going to add maybe like three little caramel chews onto a skewer that I cut in half. And this just completes the caramel apple experience. Okay, so don't leave it off because people love this. They're like, oh my God, it's so good. I got I had a snack. You know, it's like a drink and a snack and it's just, it's just perfect. So cute. But yeah, go ahead and add your frozen ice cubes into your cup and then pour on that caramel apple, caramel, what? caramel candy apple punch. I always pick the name of doggone thing. Okay, so then I'm going to add on my little caramel chews here. All right, nice little garnish and now we are done. And of course, you can get the full recipe on my blog at divasandcook.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to check out my other punch recipes. Later.